What's up, Ibex runners? My name is Veronica. Welcome back to Ibex Running. Today, we have an upside downhill pyramid. What's that you say? Don't worry, we'll explain it as we go. So if you're new to Ibex, if you look over here on my right hand side, you'll see all the different intervals, speeds that you're gonna need to know throughout the workout. And over here on my left hand side, you'll see the progression bar as we go through the workout that will increase. All right, so you can see how much you did and how much more you have to go. So are you ready to get started? We're gonna start with this warm up here, a nice brisk jog anywhere from a 2.5 to 3.5. Here we go, three, two, one, let's go. Pick up that speed just a little bit, take a deep breath in. Slow exhale, awesome job. We're just here for a minute. I always like this first minute of our workouts because it gives you time to kind of shake it out, shake off whatever you had during the day or whatever you're preparing for throughout the day and kind of just ease your mind, release that tension, get ready and get prepared for what you're about to do in this workout because this workout is all about you, right? And I want you to be successful in this workout. I want you to feel good at the end of this workout. When we're done, I want you to shake it off and be like, yes, I feel better than I did before I started. And that means you are successful. We got 30 more seconds here before we're gonna pick up that pace into a very light brisk jog. If you need some water, feel free to grab it. Make sure your shoelaces are tied nice and tight because once we get started, my friends, we're not stopping. We're gonna keep going today with this hill climb. All right, 15 seconds to go. Woo! Are you guys ready? Upside down pyramid. <laughs> if you've run with us before, you guys are probably like, oh no, Veronica. <laughs> what are you gonna do to us today? Three. Two, one, five to 6.5. Here we go, take it up. Awesome job. Woo! So, in our hill climb here, our speed interval is going to stay the same. All right, you'll be at a 5.5 to 7.5, and I want you to pick wherever you want to be in that range. If you've run with me before, you know I always love progression, right? I like to speed up as we go, but I want you to do what is challenging for you and what feels good for you, right? Remember, the goal of this workout is to feel better than when we started. Whew. So, what I want, that speed stays the same, but the incline is gonna keep changing. So, right now I want you to take an opportunity, look at your treadmill, see where your incline is, see where your speeds are, because you don't wanna mix those up when you're running today. There you go, runners. Just about one minute down, you got one more minute at this speed. Let's collect our body together, collect that mind. Bring those shoulders back, chest nice and proud. When we run, we wanna drive our elbows backward, swinging from our shoulders. Squeeze the core, right core is the center of everything. We wanna hold it together, hold that body nice and stable. Squeeze those glutes, pushing those hips forward when we run with each step. Your glutes are your strongest leg muscle, but a lot of times we don't engage it, we don't use it. And that's a shame because it can really help us. Whew. Here we go, runners, you got 30 seconds. I swear the warm-up's always the hardest part, right? <laughs> it's just getting that body moving, getting that blood flowing. You'll feel better and better as we go. Here we go. 20 more seconds, runners. And then for just one more minute, we're gonna pick up that speed just by 0.5. All right, wherever you're at, just pick it up by 0.5, just to get you prepared and ready to go into that next speed. Whew. Here we go, my friends, in five. Four, three, two, one. Take it up by 0.5. Good. Right here. It's just a little bit more just to get that cadence, your cycle, your leg cycle to pick up a little bit. Feel your rhythm. Find your rhythm. In today's workout, we have nine hill climbs. So that's nine intervals. And we are just going consistently. There's no recovery in between. There's no rest intervals. We're gonna run straight. Each interval is one minute. All right, but we're gonna play around with that incline and that's gonna challenge you in different ways. So we're gonna start off with a five incline. Yes, we are taking it right up to that top. Starting off strong, my friends. You got 15 seconds. Speed will be a 5.5 to a 7.5. Anywhere in there you wanna go. 10 seconds here before it's go time. Here we go, Ibex. In five, four, three, two, one. Hit that incline to a five. Good. Speed is 5.5 to 7.5. That's it right here. One minute, my friends. We're just gonna keep our body moving. Something great about it is to find that rhythm, and I want you to hold that rhythm. But in order to maintain that, you're gonna have to do different things with your body 
you're gonna have to push harder because of that incline, right? You know, like when you're driving a car and you're going up a hill and you wanna maintain the same speed, what do you have to do? You have to push harder on that gas pedal to maintain it. Same thing here, I want you to push harder through the treadmill to maintain that speed, maintain that cadence. Because we're challenging ourselves with that incline. Woo! 15 more seconds here. Keep your speed before we're dropping down to a four incline. The upside down pyramid. Woo! Five, four, three, two, one. Hit that four. There you go. You'll start to feel a little bit of that relief and then settle back in. Whew. That's it, my friends. Awesome job. Think about your form. All right, that is what's gonna help you be successful. And I want you to think about that word, success. Success is not built on success. You don't start being successful to continue to be successful. It's actually built on failure. It's built on frustrations. Sometimes it's built on a catastrophe, right? On something really bad. And you're successful because you build up from that. So if this workout is really hard, that's okay. That's good. That's how you will be successful, is you keep working off of that. Five seconds and we take that incline down to three. Woo! Three, two, one, take that incline down. Now at the speed, hold that speed. Nice job, runners. Keep focusing on that breathing. Our leg cycle, our breathing cycles. Stay up nice and tall. You starting to get warm, you starting to sweat. That's good, runners. Come on. You got 30 more seconds here. We're gonna keep taking it down. That's it. This is a shorter condensed workout. So I want you to fight through it here with me. Don't give in to that urge to drop that speed. Don't give in to that. Struggle through it. 10 seconds here. Woo! And then we take it down to two. Two incline. Three, two, one. Drop that incline. There you go. You feel some of that relief. Some of that tension is released off of those legs, right? That's good, now go with it. Refine that rhythm. Awesome job, Ibex. You're almost at the bottom. Stay with it here. Deep breath in, slow exhale. Find that rhythm. I want this to be a moment about you. 30 more seconds here. A moment for you to build off of frustrations that you had on your day. I want you to continue to build each time you do this workout, right? We give you those ranges and speed so you can keep repeating and see that improvement. 10 seconds here, woo! And then we take it on down to one. Three, two, one, one incline. Take it all the way down, come on. This should feel really comfortable for you now, all right? This is the base, this is that bottom. All right, we're hitting that bottom, and then we're gonna keep building till we get to success. All right, build off of that. Stay smooth. That's it, runners, you're doing so awesome. Come on, hold that speed. Hold that speed, you got 30 seconds here. You're halfway through this workout. All right, we're just gonna build all the way back up to five incline, and then we cool down. All right, short, so build. Build on that frustration. Build on that failure. So that when we hit that incline of five, you're running for success here. Let's go runners. In five, four, three, two, one. Two incline, take it up. We're going back up. Come on. You're like, oh, upside down pyramid. <laughs> nice job runners. Woo. Success is not an accident, right? We don't just stumble upon it. It has hard work, what you're doing right now. It takes perseverance, continuing to do this, learning, 
right? The more we run, the more we learn about our running rhythm, our running pattern, where our stamina is at, where our strength is at, where we want to improve on. Studying, sacrifice, there's gonna be days. If you're exhausted, you don't want to run, but you do it anyway. Or there are days, maybe you don't have that extra drink because you know you're gonna run in the morning, right? Take some of that sacrifice. And then most of all, 10 more seconds here, love. Love is what builds that success. All right, love for what you're doing, love for what you're learning, finding that passion. Let's take it on up. Take it up, my friends. Woo, we're bringing it up to three. That's it, right? If you've worked out with me before, you know I talk about falling in love with running, falling in love with that feeling of fighting and pushing yourself with only your body. This is all you need to run. And maybe a good pair of sneakers. But your body, that's it. And you can take that anywhere. Whether you're on vacation, whether you're home, whether you're at work, you can run anywhere. Love it. I want you to love it. 20 seconds here, runners. Woo! That's it. As we start going up on that hill, Start pushing harder out the back. You gotta push into that treadmill, extend the leg out the back, squeezing those glutes. Now I'm not saying slap into the ground, push. Three, two, one, take it up to four. Four incline, come on. Come on runners, you've been here before. All right, you can do it again. And you can go higher this time. If you wanna build on that speed, do it here. Come on. As you fight to go up a hill, you might notice your heels don't touch the ground. That's okay. Ball of your foot is strong. It's pushing out the back. It's allowing you to be quick off of the ground, off of that treadmill. 30 seconds, runners. Woo! You are crushing this. Stay with me here, nice and tall. Squeeze that core. Pull it together. You're so close, runners. So, so close. Come on. 10 seconds here, and then just one more. You can do that, I promise. Three, two, one, take it up to five. Come on, last one right here. See when I was getting in the zone there. I want you to get in the zone. Let go of everything else around you. Face forward, focus on your form, arms high, and let's fight to the finish here. This is the last hill. You got 40 seconds left. Whew. Let's go, runners. There you go, come on. Countdown started, 30 seconds, take it up. You wanna pick up that speed? Hit that plus one, come on. There you go. Stay strong here. Let's go, 20 seconds. Hit that plus sign. Build on it. 15, build on it. Woo! You got 10, plus one, let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Take that incline down, take that speed down, five to seven. Awesome job, let's recover a little bit here. Take that speed down a little bit. Take some nice deep breaths in. I don't wanna just start walking. All right, we wanna jog a little bit. I'll let that heart rate just slowly come down. You did it, runners. Upside down pyramid, great job. Now just take this last 60 seconds here. Deep press in, shake it out. You did it, be proud of that. 30 more seconds here, and then we'll take it off. Nice job, runners. Woo! Oh, I'm so proud of you guys. Hill climbs are a different beast. All right, but you're a beast too, and you can fight through them. You got 10 more seconds here. And then we go to that cool down, anywhere from 2.5 to 3.5, recover it. Rest, three, two, one, take it down. Down to that walk. Awesome job, runners. So proud of you. Resist that urge to hold on to those handlebars. Stay tall for me, nice deep breath in. Slow exhale, awesome job. All right, hills, right? You have to continually change your running pattern, how hard you're pushing into the ground, how hard you're driving those elbow backs, how tight you're squeezing that core, 
right? Even though your speed is staying the same, we have to keep challenging ourselves. We have to keep pushing ourselves. And that, my friends, is how you are successful. So let me ask you that question. Do you feel better now than you did when you first started? Awesome. Proud of you guys. You got 20 more seconds here with me. But as always, feel free to keep walking. Keep lowering that heart rate. Foam roll, stretch, hydrate, all those great things so you can come back, hang out with us again at Ibex Running. Awesome job completing that hill pyramid. You got five, four, three, two, one. Awesome, take it on off. Grab that well-deserved sip of water. So proud of you guys. I'll see you next time on Ibex Running.